I'm saying saying it's in sad, just let your heart be. Yeah. Oh, and then praise the Lord. Traveling down the road that I have chosen It's hard to wait for what God has in store But I know that in this life I must walk by faith, not sight And believe in Him who's walked this way before Cause I know my father cares And through every trial he'll make a way I will trust him And my heart will sing his praises I will trust him Though the storm around me rages At times I may not understand but I hold tighter to his hand On his precious word I'll stand I will trust him Heaven holds the answer to The reason for each tear But until my eyes behold him All he needs to Though the storm around me rages At times I may not understand But I hold tighter to His hand On His precious word I'll stand I will trust Him On His precious word I'll stand Sometimes in this life we may not understand the other things that's going on. But we can put our trust, our hope, our faith in God. Yes, we can. No matter what we might be facing, no matter what the storms of life may come up, we can put our faith, our hope, our trust in a living God today. If you've got the Bible, then we'd read with us. Open to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 107. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, I feel the presence in this place today. I feel the sweet, sweet spirit here today. Mm -hmm. God, we thank you for the sweet, sweet spirit here today. God, if you would minister to you, if we would only allow it. 
He's healed and ministered to each and every one of us. Uh, the drawer was lost to him. We can indeed have a relationship with him that he will help us. Excuse me just a minute. That we can trust him and everything. No matter how severe the storms may get, no matter how severe things may come our way, we can trust Him today. If you got the Bible to open to Psalm 107, verse 23, please stand for the reading of God's Word. Remain standing for prayer. Psalm 107, verse 23 says, They that go down to the sea, to the sea and ship, that the business, that they, that they business in great works. They see the works of the Lord and his wonder, wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raises the storm, stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereby. They mount up to the heavens, they go down again to the depths of the soul, uh, to the depths of their soul. Is their melt to the death? Their soul is melted because of trouble. They fear they will to and fro, stay and stagger like a drunk man, and are uh, at their wits' end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and He bringeth them out of their distress. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves still ever still. There are they did are they then are they glad because they be quiet so that so that the, he bringeth them into their desired haven. Yeah. Oh that men would praise the Lord yeah. for his goodness and his mercy. That is wonderful work to the children of men. Oh, yes. Going to work our back and touch on another verse up here. The last, the second part of verse 26. Their soul is melted because of trouble. Father, yes. I thank you for the reading of your word. Father, your word is anointed. Your word is blessed already. Father, I ask that God, you would take thy servant, anoint my words today. God, to be the words that thou would have me to speak. Father, hide me behind the cross again. Father, as I share with thy people a fresh word today. Father, encourage our hearts. For, Father, we need encouragement today. God, in a time of a midst of troubles, in a time of midst of turmoil. Father, if there ever been a time we need your word today is the day. Father, encourage us to stay by your word. We'll be careful to give you praise and glory for us. In the name of Christ, Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. There is a fact in life. You may be seated if you're able. There is a fact in life. This friend, we're going to go through stories. There is a we are either going into a storm, coming out of it, we're in the middle of a storm, or coming out of a storm. Hallelujah. In this time that David is talking about, uh, he is talking about men and women uh, who go down to the sea and the sea go without the business. Uh, and on the sea, if you ever been out of the weather, uh, you know you don't want to be out there in the midst of a storm uh, right. when the waves are tossing the ship to and fro, uh, where everything seems to be in turmoil and turmoil, everything seems to be in distress. Uh, yes. He is describing how it's a view a storm can happen. Right. We know how storms are. We, we, I'm sure we all remember uh, the hurricane to come back 
Just for you, uh, back in last September, uh, how things got rough and tore up many things around right. here. Uh, we're all familiar with the physical storms uh, that come through life. Uh, yes. But friend, there is a day in our natural life. Uh, we're going to face storms and trials of life. Uh, we may not always understand uh, how they are going to come, uh, right. how they will happen. Uh, we may not always understand why. And if you get Let's go down and out. Yes. <coughs> oh my, pray for me. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We may not always understand the turmoil we're going through, but things will come our way. We may not always understand what's going on. In the storms of life that we face, uh, and we get so down and out, the Bible described it uh, in this time that they staggered around like a drunk man. Yes. They did, they were at their wits' end, they didn't know what to do. Uh, friend, have you ever been like that? Uh, have you ever been to a place uh, you didn't know which way to turn? That's right. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Sabako. Devil, I take authority over you in the name of Jesus. Go. Yes. Bless him this morning. Somebody needs this message today. The devil's trying to stop. But it's not going to happen. Bless him this morning. Friend, we need to get to the place that we realize that in the storms of life, we may not always understand everything that we're going through. Yes. Bless him this morning. We may not always perceive what is going on. But friend, we can trust in a God that controls the weather. We can, control, we can trust in a God that controls the situation, the circumstances yes. that we're facing. Yes. We yes. love yes. to send our kids, our young yes. people to schools today. We don't know what they're facing in the world That's in these right. schools today. We send our young people to colleges, we don't know what they're facing. That's right. But friend, if there's ever been a time we need to put our trust back in God, yes. we need today. Yes. We can't put in business, we can't yes. put in the government. Yes. We yes. have got to get back. Yes. yes. <coughs> to what we used to be. Yes. David said that they go down and they do in their business. Yes. The storms come up and things begin to happen too often. Yes. I believe God sees storms or allows storms to come to remind us of our humanity. Yes, amen. And I'm going to go a step further. I have a former pastor who once made a statement. And I'm always to agree with him. I've got to the place I've almost squeezed with <laughs> He said that there are some people that God loves so much that he allows storms to come into their life in order to keep them close to him because if he ever gave them peace, they would go they would go back into the world. That's right. That's right. Think about it. God out of his love and his mercy allowed a storm so that they would stay close to him. Hallelujah. Sometimes in life the storm would do one or two things too often. It would draw us closer to God and drive us farther away. That's right. And I guess out in the middle of the ocean we can't walk on with them. So when you we do begin to get tossed and torn. In this ocean of life, yes. we don't know which way yes. to turn. Yes. We begin to cry out to God, and we begin to pray things through. God will come, but yes. we must sometimes turn yes. to our wit's end. Yes. We must turn to the bottom of the field, if you will. Right. Or get down, get down to a place where we cannot even understand right. what is happening, Amen. what is going on. And if, and if we're not Careful, it can drive us crazy. Yes, <laughs> it will. There are three things we can do when we find ourselves in the midst of the storms of life. There were three things that these people did in the book of our, in the book of Psalms. Number one, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Number one, in verse 28, it says that they, then they cried unto the Lord yes. in their trouble. We must get to a place sometimes in the midst of our trouble to remember 
to begin to cry unto the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 1 says, God did call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. In the book of James 5, 16, which the most beloved quote so often, he said that the effectual form of prayer of a righteous man availeth much. In the book of Hebrews yes. chapter 4, I believe verse 15, he said, let us come bold and to the throne of grace yes. that we may obtain mercy and help yes. in the time of need. Yes. we got promise after promise after promise yes. if we may call on the him. we got a God that we can come and draw nigh unto in the time of our distress, in the time of our trouble. That's when it may, we may think it may not be no big deal, but it to God. He loves every little bit he think about. Yes. Somebody else may think it's no big deal, but to God, to the person that you're going through, it's a big deal. That's right. And God loves that individual, and he's willing to help. Yes, he is. Amen. But we got to get to the place if we're willing to say, God, I'm God, I need your help. Yes. In this matter, <coughs> I need your help. And your guidance in this situation. Yes. I need your guidance through this storm that yes. I'm facing. Yes. Because friend, it will be, these storms are coming and many times they are violent. Oh, you know, many, many times we preachers, we're kind of like where the men sometimes we get up and we warn you that storms and life are coming, yes. that troubles are coming, yes. that situations are coming, yes. and most importantly, Jesus is about to return. Oh, friend, if there's ever been a time Yes. We need to be ready. Yes. And be close to God. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Look at everything that's going on. Yes, that's right. Have you ever thought that there would come a time? Have you ever thought there would come a time that we would come to a place in the United States of America mm -hmm. that we would say when a baby is born? That's right. Let's go ahead and kill it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Have you ever thought we come to a place in the United States of America? That's right. That sin is almost glorified yes. in every step of the way. That's right, man. It is. That's right. It's a quiet shame when a child with a 15 year old go, go get an abortion without a parent's consent. Amen. I better set up right there, Hatton. We have got to a place that it, 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 America is in trouble. Yes. And it's the thought we need to wake up yes. and realize that we need to get back to prayer yes. like we used to be. Yeah. We need to get back to a place uh, that we used to be. I had a whole different message. I'm going to preach today. The Lord, take my message. But we need, I will say this, we need to quit warming ourselves by the enemy's fire. But too far, too often, that's what Christians will do. Yes. We got to a place that we've got so relaxed. Yes. That we're, we're taking every thing just for granted. Yes. Yeah, and I was telling home the other day, we were talking about things that were going on, and I told her, I said, you know, as bad as things are right now, I sure don't want to miss the rapture. Right. Amen. 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 Because it's going to be a lot worse than it is now. It really is coming. That's right. Well, I'll just, I'll just won't deny Christ and they'll cut my head off. Won't be that easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll lose the head, but uh, they'll, they'll, they'll torture you. I mean, the devil, you know, he, right. he, he is yeah. our enemy, but he, he, he's not the smallest individual, but he's smaller than you and I. That's right. Amen. Amen. First thing we need to do is begin the play. We need to pray and begin to plead the blood and do it before all our family or our loved ones or our yes. thoughts or our schools yes. or everything. Yes. 
We yes. need to get back to what we begin to call the God in the midst yes. of the yes. storms that we're going through. Oh, yeah. And as we do so, oh, as we learn yes. to get into His presence, and as we begin oh, yeah. to learn to call into Him, He will help yes. us. The second thing that we need to do Hallelujah. is found on further down. In verse 31, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for the wonderful works of the children, to the children of men. Verse yes. 32, Let them exalt Him also in the congregation yes. of the people and praise Him in the assembly of the elders. Oh, friend, we need to get back to a place uh, where we begin to praise God in the midst uh, of every situation, uh, every circumstance, uh, everything in life that we're going through. Uh, we need to get back to a place uh, that we begin to exalt God in everything that we do. Hallelujah. Bible says that we will do exalt Him in all things. We are to praise Him and never fail. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15, uh, 18. Uh, says in everything, give thanks to God, uh, for this is the will of God through Christ Jesus concerning you. Uh, we are told time and time again throughout the Bible uh, to praise Him, uh, yes. to give thanks to Him when everything that comes our way. Uh, yes. we, we can never just grab a hold uh, of yes. Roman day, uh, yes. verse 28, uh, that yes. says, For all yes. things work together uh, for the good. It says that everything was good. Hallelujah. But it was saying works together for the good yes. uh, to those that love God uh, yes. and are put up yes. in Him. Uh, friend, if we could ever grab a hold of that force uh, and realize and understand that uh, God is working things out, uh, we may not understand it and know what we might be going through, uh, but we need to learn to begin to pray uh, in the midst of our situation. Uh, it's a book of Acts, uh, chapter. 16. Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Verse 25. The scripture says Paul and Silas, they've been taken, they've been arrested, they've been beaten, Amen. and they've been beaten with many stripes. Why? Because they were preaching the gospel and delivering the young lady from the mighty procession, and they have been cast into the inner prison in the meeting of inns and the feet, put in the stock. Yes. Those thoughts not only kept their feet from moving, but it would make them be in constant, uh, continuous pain. Yes. But yet in verse 25, uh, it says that at midnight, uh, Paul and Silas uh, prayed uh, and sang praises uh, unto God uh, and the prisoners for them. Uh, and suddenly uh, there came a great earthquake. God wanted to live with us. Uh, but friend, what is the world? Uh, what is the world outside here when you and I do? Hallelujah. What are they hearing us complain about? Grumble about? Christ about? Hallelujah. Are they hearing us praise God? Yes. Even though we were saying might Hallelujah. be going wrong. Even Hallelujah. though we were saying might not be going our way. Praise the Lord. We get so mad, so offended, so easy. Yes. Then I tell you, I ain't going back to preach that love you and the sin that God some man told me y'all to have a coat and tie. I tell you, Lord. I had to do it, Daddy. I was going to say I had to do it. I know a man that actually went to a church. And he just told to leave because he didn't have on a tie. Mm. Now, we're not that legalistic, I know. But we get so offended, we get so hurt yes. over the littlest, silliest thing. Yes. <laughs> we really do. Yes. I mean, we, we really do. 
And it wouldn't happen if we could learn to pray Hallelujah. and learn to begin to praise God. Hallelujah. Learn to let the little things go. Hallelujah. And learn to just get a hold of Hallelujah. God in everything that we do. Hallelujah. Learn to begin to praise Him to stop what is going on in the world today. If we can ever get back to a place we begin to praise Him Hallelujah. for everything. Paul and Silas were in the prison. But they didn't let it to stop them. From praising God and saying, Lord, we love you. And friend, I don't believe that was it. And I pray, oh God, why did we get in here? We tried to That's do right. more will. Amen. I don't know why all this has happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> I probably prayed more like the they the disciples prayed in uh, at chapter four, Father, thank you. Yes. We were counted for it. Yes. The suffer for you. Yes. Now rest to your servant's foes to proclaim your word. Praise you, Jesus. And then I don't believe they would sit down and say, Oh, nobody knows the trouble I see. So I, I believe they were thinking, Praise your name. You Hallelujah. Oh, we're going to praise your name. They might have even been able to sound what they've been there, but they might have even been singing. He set me free, yes, he set me free. He brought the fire to the prison for me. If we could ever begin to praise him, our circumstances would turn around. Our very life would turn around. If we could ever learn to go through our life with a praise in our lips and begin to worship him and begin to see what is going on. And friend, when the world sees that, it's going to make them hungry and thirsty for what we have. It's going to work more when they come to us because they're going to see you something that is changed in you and I. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We got the Lord to begin to praise Him in everything that we have. We got to learn to praise Him with our whole being. We got to learn to praise Him with everything that is within us. I don't mean we got to, we all have to get up and shout and scream and holler. Yeah. I'm not talking about that, but we've got to learn to praise Him Hallelujah. from the depths of our being. Hallelujah. And as we do so, Hallelujah. God will turn to something that many times around and the situation around. Yes. Even though we may not always understand everything. Praise the Lord. And that's number three. We must learn, as my wife sang right ago, to trust Him. Yes. Even when we don't understand mm. everything that is going on. <coughs> In verse 29. Let me find my place. Verse 29, he maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are ever still. Yeah. These are glad be calm and be quiet, so that he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Friends, we got to learn to trust God for the outcome, no matter if we understand it or not. Yes. Even if it's not in the way that you and I thought it ought to be, we yes. must learn to come to a place that we can say, God, I'm going to trust you. Yes. We go all this as a circumstance. Yes. We pray yes. and we pray and we pray. Yes. How things don't happen the way we think. I heard about that young man. I, I just believe in God. I was, man, I just believe in God. That it didn't happen to me, but God's got his purpose. Yes. God's got his way. Yes, hallelujah. We may not always understand. We may not always understand. But we can know that God is still in heaven. 
Still in control. If we would dare to trust him, to trust him. Trust the thought that's all about, uh, it, it's not, I'm going to trust you as long as I see what you're doing. It's, uh, it, it is saying, God, I'm going to trust you, even when I don't understand what's going on. Yes. But too often, if we don't know what's going on, we allow it to drag us aside. And we run it to and fro, trying to figure out. My business is doing that, my that one is doing this. When we need to learn to truly trust God yes, yes. in the situation, in the circumstance. Yes. We may not understand it by the way. That's right. We may never understand it on this side of the Lord. That's right. But we can put our trust in Him. We can put our trust in Him alone. Yes. We may not understand my ideas, my some people that way. I don't, I don't understand why I got one cousin then do it for some lobby, but the other cousin is going to come to a slot. Hey, y'all know I'm just picking on Danny. He's like, he loves it. If he didn't pick on me or I didn't pick on him, we'd think we were mad at one another. <laughs> but I mean, really, we, we try to go through life sometimes. Try to figure out things too much. Not I mean, I am the world's worst. I will sit down and I will analyze, what did this person say this? What did they mean by this? What did, what, what did, what, what's the secret meaning behind why they said that? <laughs> <laughs> they got an arterial bone behind that. Yeah. <clears throat> we do that. That's right. But God wants us to trust. Yes. He wants us to lean heavily upon him. Yes. Yes. Father said in uh, Proverbs chapter 3, lean not on your own understanding, but the acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. And he praise, the the Lord. Yes. praise the Lord. We need to learn to lean on Him. Yes. We learn to trust Him. Despite the situation, despite the circumstance, despite what is going on, we need to learn to trust Him with everything that's going on. We need to learn to come to a place we may not realize and understand everything that's happened. Now, Sam, Leah, I want to get the back from that. Uh, t- uh, Lord, help. Jim, I want to get that CD ready again. I'm, I want to say that song again. We need to learn to get to a place that we trust. I, we really do. I, we need to get back to a place that we really trust God. Hallelujah. I want to stand out of this church. If I've lost things this time, I want us to deny and say, Lord, I'm going to trust you. Whatever the situation you might be, we're going to tell God we are going to trust him tonight. Today, regardless, listen, let this time bless you. My last thing. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Traveling down the road that I have chosen yeah. is hard to wait for what God has in store. But I know that in this life I must walk by faith, not sight yeah. And believe in Him who's walked this way before I will trust yeah. Him yeah. And my heart will sing His praises I will trust yeah. Him Though the storm around me rages But I hold tighter to his hand On his precious word I'll stand yeah. I will trust him yeah. Even when I can't hear an answer To the cry my troubled soul has made not despair, cause 
Cause I know my father cares And through every trial He'll make a way I will trust Him And my heart will sing His praises I will trust Him Though the storm around me rages At times I may not understand but I hold tighter to His hand On His precious word I'll stand I will trust Him Heaven holds the answer to The reason for each tear But until my eyes behold Him All He needs to trust Him. Though the storm around me rages, at times I may not understand, but I hold tighter to His hand. On His precious word I'll stand, I will trust Him. Come, let us pray for a few minutes. Tell God, let God know, look on us, trust Him, despite the situation.